biggest gardening challenge. Mine is definitely not getting enough sun. I've had to cut down over a dozen trees and still major parts of my yard are quite shady. And that's why I grow a lot of shade tolerant vegetables, a lot of leafy greens, kale, collard greens, lettuce, spinach. But I also grow crops that do require more sunlight like tomatoes, squash, potatoes, cucumbers. And what I want to do is take a look at the garden throughout the day and see if I'm positioning my crops in the best location to get the optimal amount of sunlight. The footage we've been looking at so far was taken on June 8th at 7 a.m. and almost the entire yard is in shade. Now these strawberries are getting sun already, so that's good. In addition, some of the vertical plants like these grapes are getting full sun. Also, the top of these blackberries are getting full sun. Now at this time of day, there are a couple culprits for why we're not getting more sun. One is the neighbor's fence, and the other is this tree. I'll check back at 8 a.m. and we'll see how much sun we're getting then. Okay, by 8 a.m., the front half of the yard is starting to get more sun. The front left side especially is in full sun, and you can also see the potatoes there towards the center right are now getting full sun. But the back of the yard is still quite shady as is the area to the right of the potatoes. As before, the neighbor's fence and that big old tree are producing the shade. Okay, I'll check back in at 9 a.m. Okay, by 9 a.m. it's looking much better. About two-thirds of the yard is now in full sun. You can see the back of the yard there is still shaded. As is the area closest to the neighbor's fence. And that big old tree is still shading the back of the yard. I will see you back at 10 a.m. By 10 a.m. things are looking even better. Most of the yard is now in full sun. There's a little bit of shaded area in the back. That area is not really growing anything new, so that's okay. And along the neighbor's fence, we still have a swath of shade. I'm growing shade plants there anyway. Those will do okay. And the big old tree is becoming less of a factor. I will see you back at 11 a.m. Things are looking even better at 11 a.m. Even the back of the yard now is getting some sun. The only area that's still shaded is a small strip along the neighbor's fence. I'll see you back at 12 p.m. Things are looking good at 12 p.m. Most of the yard is still in full sun. The neighbor's fence is no longer an issue. However, I am starting to get some shade in the back of the yard. There's a tree in the back that's starting to produce shade there. And this is really telling me that I don't need to plant those two beds at all this time of year because it's only been within the last hour or two that these beds have started getting sun. And with that little sun, it's really a waste of time to plant anything. I'll see you back at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. looks a lot like 12 p.m., except that the neighbor's fence now is no longer an issue at all, and the back of the yard is getting more shade. I'll see you back at 2 p.m. Things get a little discouraging here at 2 p.m. There's a whole new set of trees now causing partial shade in the yard resulting in shade on the left side of the yard. Uh, fortunately, the right side of the yard is still getting some full sun towards the front, and the area along the neighbor's fence remains in full sun. I'll see you back at 3 p.m. By 3 p.m., unfortunately, the garden is mostly in the shade. I would call it partial shade. Um, there's a line of trees that the sun is passing through. From time to time, sections of the garden will get some sun. But I would say for the rest of the day, the best case scenario is partial shade. So what did I learn from this experiment? The bad news is that the back of the yard gets even less sun than I realized. But this is really okay because those beds are my winter beds. They actually get more sun than the rest of the yard in the winter. And right now, they're just going to seed, so it's not a big deal. I did plant a few collard greens in one of the beds, and they're not doing that great because they only get about an hour of sun a day. But that's okay too. And the good news is my strawberries, grapes, and blackberries are getting seven hours of sun a day. My squash, potatoes, and tomatoes are getting six hours. And the pole beans and cucumbers will get about five hours of sun per day. That's a little on the low side, but we'll see how that goes. A couple tips for those of you who are also sun challenged in your garden. You might want to try growing cherry tomatoes instead of other larger varieties of tomatoes. That's what I do, they grow well. Uh, same with peppers. Grow smaller varieties of peppers like jalapenos instead of bell peppers and you'll find that they'll grow much faster and you'll have much more success. So thank you very much for watching. 
and I'll see you next time.